and what does serendipity mean? That's a very good one. It's an unplanned, fortunate discovery. Yeah. So it's, it's something that you don't expect it to happen, you don't have it planned, you just go on with your life and suddenly something wow, you know, a, a wow moment yeah. finds you. And that's how actually all of this happened. And also on personal level, yeah. we have a lot of serendipity moments. I think also our connection was just a serendipity moment. And uh, with Vintage, it is a serendipity moment that you find your garment and fits like a glove. I started around almost one year ago and um, I have a very long background in the fashion industry. I literally grew up between the fashion racks. And um, when I was on my world trip, I uh, knew I needed to change something in the fashion industry. It didn't connect my values anymore, so I needed to change after my world trip. I think it's, it's important for people to to look at vintage with uh, fresher eyes, but also to, to be part of the movement, because we are not only uh, about second-hand clothing, about uh, you know, like new garments in zero waste, it's not only about that, it's about changing your lifestyle, despite we don't, we don't like that word much, but it's about uh, a mindset change. And, uh, and people really need to, to have brands like us, you know, to lead a little bit the way because it's not that easy for, uh, for everybody to, to get to that knowledge or to get to the understanding and, and, you know, and uh, to, to what we do. They just don't get it sometimes, so they need a little bit of people, you know, a little bit of uh, people that is guiding them. So uh, it's important for the industry in, in both ends. We think it's important to um, educate the consumer, but also to open the eyes of uh, people in creating in the industry, like marketing, designers. There's different ways, you know, to treat fashion and sometimes to think in a different way outside the box. So just, just look around you, take the product that is already there and think differently. Now we live in a linear economy, so it's you, you buy a garment, you wear it and you waste it. With circular economy, there's no waste. Waste is being used as a resource and that is the most important thing that we don't look at garments as, you know, okay, it's a wasteful product, uh, it's, it's fast fashion, it's I'm gonna throw it out again next week or something, no. It, it, it stays in the loop and actually with vintage garments you reuse it so if you look at now a little bit uh, down into theory if you look at the Ellen MacArthur model it exists of two cycles so a biological cycle where garments are biodegradable you can put them in the earth but also a technical cycle and the technical cycle is the reuse phase the repair phase remanufacture and recycle and the recycle phase is the largest but also in the recycle phase, you need energy. You have a carbon dioxide footprint, right? So in the reuse phase, you don't. You have zero waste and, and resources are not being used anymore. We want to create a 100% circular fashion industry. There needs to be a um, mind shift in the fashion industry. And in the next generation. So yeah. So. Absolutely. So um, we want to show that the alternative is there and it's not just an alternative, it is even cooler and much nicer to wear vintage which is 100% sustainable. I think it started with my dad. Uh, he also likes to thrift shop and I know when I was little we always used to go to Fort Lauderdale uh, on a vacation and um, there was this really big thrift shop and at that time I, I didn't really like it because I was like oh but a lot of other kids have new stuff and um, so he taught me to see the love in, in something that is secondhand and to uh, cherish it and give it a new life so that's where it started I think so this is me being seven so yeah, yeah, you, you might have to shift your mind a little bit and think about, well, okay, it, it might take a little bit longer, but uh, it's better because 
Um, it's old. Yes, it's old, but it still looks really good. So um, that also says that the material is way better. And that other thing that you're buying that is maybe like five euros or 10 euros, and that is not the legit price of it. If you like wash it 10 times, it's done. You cannot wear it anymore because the fabric is all. So um, yeah, it might take a little bit more effort, but just try it. We, we have three different collections. Uh, my playground is a little bit everywhere, but uh, we have a bigger playground in uh, edited and, uh, and simple. We, we find, we maybe go through, I don't know, like a thousand uh, garments or even 3,000 garments per day when we go hunting for new, for new vintage. And to find the right pieces is not that easy. You know that the shape, the quality, the color, that everything feels uh, that is serendipity is not that easy to find. So uh, what we do is we focus on the, on the nice features of, of that garment. If, if the shape is perfect, if the color is, is a go, we um, modify it, we edit it, we, we change things, we uplift it, make it modern, make it up to date. So it looks cool, it looks fresh, it's, uh, it, it preserves you know, a clean and really like a modern aesthetic that we are, are looking for and that people is not really used to uh, finding in regular vintage. So um, that's, that's mostly like, like you know, our, our nice uh, playground in, uh, in the studio, in our little atelier. Put the vintage bottle on and buckle on it. Yeah, yeah, I found those like a few uh, days ago and I think they are just stunning. So I use this one, I think it's just like so cool with the, you know, with the leftovers, yeah. actually, wait. With the leftovers from the, from this side, that was also round, so we made it asymmetric and goes yeah. there. That's no, nice. super nice. It's also so nice if we have this strap like this, but also like here, yeah. uh, a strap like... Yeah, that we can do also with the blazer. So yeah. the idea now is to uh, to finish this one. Yeah. So it uh, it also comes back, you know, with the, with the strap detail. And it comes back there on the blazers and on the on the shirt that is really nice if we make it in silk, but maybe also combine it with uh, heavy cotton so we can have a nice uh, a nice mix and match there. Everything is quite clean and cropped and wide, but at the same time we make it uh, connected with a simple collection with the straps. Why do I love vintage? Yeah, uh, I think since I was a little girl, I grew up in a farm area and then uh, I went to the big second-hand shop with a lot of crap, to be honest. But it always gave me a lot of satisfaction to find the cool pieces in there. And my friends always said, whoa, I need to go shopping with you. I don't know how you find these things. And I just like it to have one, one of a kind piece. So when they ask me, where did you buy it? I say, yeah, in a vintage shop, so there's none other of it. So uh, that's what I like about vintage, I think. And the idea that a piece of clothing gets a longer life. I feel like fast fashion also is a lot of the same. Uh, yeah, maybe not very good for me to say, but as a model, a lot of brands that I model for, I feel like lots of styles are a bit the same. So that's why I also enjoy vintage pieces that are one of a kind and a bit more authentic and maybe nicer fabrics uh, that will last longer than the ones that are produced to wear in short time. With our high demand for raw resources, the energy demand is large, which results in large carbon dioxide emissions. We don't want that. And obviously the Paris Climate Agreements, when we want to stick below the one and a half degree, it, it's so important uh, to understand how fashion relates to those raw materials, the need for raw materials and the, the results in carbon dioxide and our, our planet. There are already beautiful garments, beautiful items that we can reuse. And what I believe that uh, Serendipity Vintage Dreamer is doing so well, they style it in a unique way. Uh, I just learned that they also sew it in, in, in their own shop to really make it your own. So one, 
Raw materials reduction, there's none. Second, zero waste. There's no waste. Also, again, with the recycling story, you don't need any energy. Okay, human energy, but you know, that's, that's okay. <laughs> so actively with Serendipity Vintage Dreamer, you're also contributing to your own carbon dioxide footprints, your own chemical footprint, your own water footprint, your energy footprint. Uh, you're more social where, you know, uh, you're not demanding people to work crazy hours, uh, 60 hour long weeks because it's already there, you know, let's reuse what we have. So the serendipity philosophy means that there is no waste and um, that every garment has a story to tell and maybe we treat it uh, in a different way, like wash it new, steam it, sew it, whatever, but we can continue with it. And um, it's funny that also here in the studio you see some items which are made from leftover materials. So, for example, if we have an edited shirt, we crop it and make it shorter, then we still have some 10 centimeter shirt left. And then the top happens. The top happens. <laughs> we don't know, but it's just like, yeah. you know, that's the beauty of it. I do think it's important that more people uh, wear vintage clothing and buy secondhand clothing, because uh, with the whole environment changing, I'm not really uh, into fast fashion because I believe in the out, uh, authenticity of fashion and the older styles are a bit more unique to me and also we already have so many beautiful pieces of clothing on this planet so why should we uh, produce more? I think it's so much nicer to have this circular thing where Maybe when I don't like something for myself anymore, someone else will like it and they'll be happy to wear it. <laughs>